Hi, my name is Cyril Lance and I'm the Chief Engineer at Moog Music. We're here today in the Moog Sound Lab to celebrate the 78th birthday of our founder, Bob Moog. This year we had an unexpected surprise come to us from Google, who created a web-based synthesizer based on the legendary Mini Moog Model D that you can actually play and have fun with. Let's start by playing a little riff on the successor to the Mini Moog Model D, our Mini Moog Voyager. Now let's play something similar on the Google Doodle. The Google Doodle follows the classic layout of the Mini Moog by implementing four essential building blocks of analog synthesis. You have your oscillator section, your mixer section, your filter section, and your envelope section. Let's first look at the oscillator section. Oscillators are the basic sound source on an analog synthesizer. Let's play one oscillator. We can change the pitch of the oscillator. And we can also change the wave shape of the oscillator, which changes its tone and harmonics. In order to control the different volumes of each oscillator, we have a mixer section, which allows you to turn up and down the different oscillators. The Mini Moog had three oscillators, as does the Google Doodle. Let's listen just very quickly to them. Using the mixer section, I'm now going to turn up oscillator two. You can hear how having two oscillators thickens the sound, and now let me turn up the third oscillator. So you see the mixer section allows you to create different sounds by varying the strengths of the three different oscillators. The next section we're going to talk about is the filter section. A filter is what affects the tone of a sound, how dark or bright a sound is. Let me demonstrate that very quickly for you. The Google Doodle emulates the classic Moog ladder filter, which was one of Bob's pioneering inventions in the 60s that really defined the Moog sound. It is this sound that has inspired countless musicians from the Beatles and Stevie Wonder and Bob Marley to Alicia Keys and Kanye West today. Finally, we're going to talk about the envelope section. An envelope is what controls the way sound evolves over time. Some examples of that would be, for instance, if you pluck a guitar string, it may get loud and soft very quickly. Whereas if you bow a string on a violin, the sound will get loud kind of slowly and then hold as long as you're bowing the string. The envelope section is what you use to achieve this result on an analog synthesizer. The volume envelope controls how loud and soft a sound gets as the sound evolves over time. Right now I have a very quick attack and decay set up. Listen to what it sounds like. Now let's make a long attack and a long decay. Listen how the sound changes. So you see by combining all these different fundamental sonic elements in the Google Doodle, it allows you to create a huge vocabulary of sound. In nature, sounds are constantly evolving. Modulation is the tool we use to achieve this on an analog synthesizer, and I'm going to demonstrate modulating the pitch, which kind of emulates vibrato in a voice. We can go from having a very subtle modulation to a very extreme modulation. We'd like to thank Google for honoring Bob's birthday with such a cool doodle. We know Bob would have loved this. We hope you've shown you that everybody can enjoy creating sounds on an analog synthesizer and that it inspires you to continue your musical journey.